taking from my first uh, question, as a state, we believe in the power of ecosystems. So if you look at the state of Andhra Pradesh, we are peculiarly a long state. We have the second longest coastline. So each district, district is a geography, geography for administration in India. Each district, we have specific focus areas. So if you take the southern bit, we want to focus on automotive manufacturing in one district. Renewable energy is a big thrust area. It's not just about solar, wind, it's about the pump storage projects. Close to 72 gigawatts is going to get built out in the next five years. Then you have the uh, two other districts which are focused on electronics manufacturing, which is the Chittur and Kadapa district. Mm. So like this, we have very sec uh, district specific focus areas. So coming to north, north of our state, we're going to focus on data centers, big data, the entire chem and uh, you know, pharma hub, so there's a lot of specific focus areas and then we go back and say what should each department do in order to achieve this vision. So for me it's very clear that I have training institutes in the government, the ITI is polytechnic. So we're going to train manpower for tomorrow. So let's talk about all the green jobs we can create in one district. All the civil aviation jobs uh, we can create uh, in, out of one district. So that gives a lot of clarity alignment for the state government on what we should go out achieving. And apart from that, Vikasit Andhra Pradesh, which is Swarna Andhra Pradesh that we have, Swarna Andhra Pradesh translates to Golden Andhra Pradesh. We are now working backwards of saying that, okay, if we need to achieve this kind of per capita income, then how do we go about achieving it? So which department should do what? And we're going to measure ourselves on a monthly basis, like how all of you do your business. Even the state is going to do this. On a monthly basis, we're going to measure it. And the second part is in this journey, we don't want anyone left behind. So we are creating a family a school, a report card of sorts and saying what are the project to practice we can give to that family to pull them out of the cycle of poverty. Hmm. So it's no longer about wealth creation alone, but how do you ensure that even people below the poverty line can be given a handout and to just pull them out of the cycle of poverty. And that's something that I think is going to be very unique to the, to the state and we're going to launch this in the next three months.